Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to approach a question that comes from uh, Walt Washburn, KT0D, from Colorado Springs, Colorado. He says, first, he loves the channel. Thank you very much. He has a high gain, he says, ATV14. I think he means 14 uh, ATV. Um, it's a vertical. It remains at DC ground. Yes, it is. It has some loading coils in it that uh, go across the two sides. So at DC, both sides are at ground level. That's important for when wind blows over the antenna because when wind blows over antennas it knocks loose electrons which creates a static charge on the antenna and that static charge has to go somewhere okay otherwise it goes into your radio some radios are set up for that some of the older Yesus used to actually put a light bulb uh, a little small light bulb in series with the received antenna and uh, I remember once connecting an antenna and had that light bulb glow really bright as it bled off that static charge. It says, internally I believe I have a shunt coil tuned so that it passes DC and is an open for RF. Yes, true. Uh, it's not open. It's got a reactance uh, at RF. Um, However, several months ago, I erected a 6-meter ground wave antenna, okay, uh, which does not have such a shunt. There were sometimes, as my fellow state resident, well, I'm the fellow state resident, yes, and thus one subjected to high winds at home. Uh, yeah, I'm looking over at my wind gauge. They're only 4 miles an hour right now. Uh, the static buildup on the ground plane might subject the input to my IC7300 to a pretty good spike of potential when I switch to the 6 meter antenna. Well, that depends on a couple of things. Uh, first of all, if you're using a um, switch like I am, the Alpha Delta uh, switch, it shorts out the antenna that it is not using. So it would keep the um, uh, antenna, the 6 meter antenna, at ground potential on both sides and bleed that off so when you switch to it you're fine. Another thing that is in that switch is a little lightning arrestor device uh, between the uh, positive side of that antenna and the ground. So if there is a build up beyond uh, very many volts there will be an arc inside the little arc tube um, that drains that off. So that means you don't have to worry about it. Um, I worry sometimes as a, let's see, it's, 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 I looked at the schematic for the IC7300 and could not determine if and how ICOM might have protected the rig. As to fellow enthusiasts for that radio, are you aware? Um, I think ICOM is expecting you, uh, well, first of all, in the antenna tuner, in the antenna tuner, there's going to be uh, equipment in there that will provide a DC to ground through a coil if it's connected. Okay, let, let me just show you what's happening here. Um, I want to zoom that out just a little bit. Okay. Um, I don't know which one of these is going bad. I need to get a new set of these. Let's take a dipole. Okay, and most people connect the dipole so that the outside goes to the outside of the coax, like this, and that the inside of the coax goes up like that. And then this comes down here to your uh, lightning arrestor, which is connected to ground, and then goes into your radio. Okay, now this one right here is connected directly to ground so any induced currents on it will go to ground but as the wind comes on this it will create uh, can create quite a static charge actually in the lightning arrestor is a small tube filled with special gas and it's got a lightning point in it um, 
it's got um, let me think for a minute what that thing's called it's a lightning what's well, a lightning arrestor a lightning gas tube this lightning gas tube right here uh, will arc over when the voltage gets too high over 100 volts or so and uh, that will take care of that the the rest is handled by the radio itself now if you are using a switch if you're using a switch like the Alpha Delta you've got your contacts here your main contact coming in the wiper arm will hit that and then there's another wiper arm that goes like this over here it's over on this side too so if you move this over here what you're getting is this is connected now and then the wiper arm connects the others to ground okay that's why that's in the category of you get what you pay for when you buy a switch um, so I would recommend you get a switch like that that way they're always connected to ground we had uh, quite a thunderstorm come through last night I was very grateful for that so I think we've answered your question here is that you're fine um, you should have your lightning uh, arrestor down there to protect the rig and that'll put you in good shape so um, if you have not yet heard of the channel giveaway I want to introduce you to this book it's called Novel Antennas it's by the Radio Society of Great Britain I think I picked it up at Dayton either 2018 or 2019 probably 2019 and I'm going to give this away if you'd like to enter the giveaway send a postcard QSL card or just a simple uh, single page letter to P.O. Box 98 Ridgeway Colorado and uh, I'll have a drawing on one of the live streams and we're going to try and do one of these a month so that's the giveaway that's coming up uh, for the uh, August August uh, 26 live stream so very good all right so until we next meet, 73.